Red wine has been shown to have anti-aging effects in the body thanks to the antioxidants, sapping up damaging free radicals, which can help us turn back the clock and maybe even slow the aging process. But higher amounts of alcohol is also associated with a greater mortality, higher risk of heart failure, as well as other negative side effects. So I had the question, if our goal is fat loss, in addition to turning back the clock and improving health span along with lifespan, does drinking red wine also help us ignite fat burning or will it stop fat burning altogether? Science has uncovered some incredible health benefits of red wine within recent decades, including some promising research done at the Harvard Medical School on longevity and resveratrol, along with other polyphenols, which are heavily found in red wine. These compounds have not only shown to lengthen lifespan in some animal studies, but also have the ability to potentially reduce the clotting tendency of blood in humans, leading to a potential for a reduction of LDL cholesterol oxidation. Resveratrol is a small, what's called a polyphenol, produced by many plants to survive. It's produced by grapes and it's concentrated in red wine. In an effort to maximize my own health and lifespan, as well as to tap into fat stores for fuel, build muscle, and create my ideal body composition as I get into my 40s, I decided to follow a popular protocol most anti-aging experts recommend called time-restricted eating. Within my lifestyle of fasting, I'm consuming water only for over 20 hours a day most days and within my eating window, I consume all my nutrition for the day within one to four hours of time. Every day I focus on eating one meal a day and have worked up to this over the past year with intermittent fasting, starting with only 16 hours. Based on the research I've done on longevity, I found some impressive evidence that supports drinking a moderate amount of wine to help support living a long and healthy lifestyle. However, with the goal of fat loss and with only consuming one meal a day in such a short eating window, I question if it is healthy to do so, or will this hold me back with my fat burning results? The main cause of weight gain and weight sticking for most of us, despite many efforts to unstick the fat from our bodies, is well known to be caused by a constant trigger or high levels of insulin. As we know, insulin resistance is the core cause of metabolic syndrome. The normative aging study from Harvard University, including its 30 years of follow-up, uncovered that moderate intake of alcohol was actually found to significantly lower insulin levels and insulin resistance compared to either the high alcohol intake or no alcohol group. What this tells us is that there is a correlation between the right quantity of alcohol when it comes to fat loss to also see the most benefits from red wine. In 2005, the American Diabetes Association found an incredible 30% reduction in type 2 diabetes with moderate alcohol consumption. But how can this be if we've been told for years that drinking alcohol will cause us to gain weight? Researchers hypothesized that the improvements of these patients were due to the improved blood glucose, cholesterol profiles, and improvement in blood clotting, as well as reduction in blood pressure from the moderate alcohol intake. I personally I wear a continuous glucose monitor on my arm 24 seven, and I have seen this blood glucose reduction from consuming red wine myself as personal experience from these findings. But before you run out and start drinking a bottle of wine a day to get these incredible benefits, consider that overconsumption becomes toxic to the liver, which will reverse any potential health benefits and cause long-term health effects, such as slowing down liver detox, increasing fat storage, and some potential heart issues. The liver is our hardest work organ in the body next to the brain and nervous system. This organ not only detoxifies the body, but also breaks down hormones and proteins as well as stores vitamins and minerals. The liver is responsible for all fat metabolism and too much alcohol can cause the liver to be burnt out. And especially if you follow a low carb or ketogenic lifestyle, we know our liver will stop metabolizing fat and stop producing ketones when alcohol is present in the system. So how is it that red wine can lower blood glucose and show positive metabolic benefits, but at the same time stop fat burning the key to unlocking the massive benefits of red wine lie in the dose the french eat almost three times as much animal fats compared to americans but have half the heart disease and the reason believed for this is because of their habits around drinking red wine with their meals france produces more wine than any other country in the world and when it comes to sitting down for a meal having a glass of wine has historically been a part of their culture for thousands of years where in america we tend to drink alcohol more recreationally with or without 
food, and we drink more heavily on all different types of alcohol, including beer, liquors, and white wines. What's that? Oh, it's a Bordeaux. Robust, bold, very dry, as opposed to a Beaujolais, which is richer and fruitier. I believe I have found the key to unlocking the secrets with the red wine, allowing us to also maximize the fat burning benefits with any lifestyle we follow, simply by consuming the correct dose in the right amount. And for my findings, I don't believe you have to completely cut alcohol out altogether to achieve your health goals, but utilize it in a way that positively impacts your results. Red wine also has incredible effects on your microbiome. And as published in a 2019 paper in the Journal of gastroenterology, a team of researchers found drinking red wine was associated with a greater diversity in a healthier gut microbia compared to not drinking or drinking other types of alcohol. Interestingly, other types of wine like white wine didn't have the same effect on the microbiome. The microbiome is a collection of microorganisms in the environment and play an important role in overall health. An imbalance of good gut bugs compared to bad gut bugs can lead to adverse health effects such as reduced immune system, weight gain, or high cholesterol, but overconsumption of alcohol can contribute to leaky gut, which also causes problems with the microbiome. So should we drink red wine every day and how much to get the benefits without blunting fat burning? The answer to this is very specific to the individual, but for most healthy adults who are looking to create a lifestyle that is long-term and also helps us achieve our short-term fat loss goals, I have uncovered a specific protocol that I will personally be following based on the research and evidence and personal experience. If red wine causes you to crave high sugar foods or initiate snacking or overindulgence, this is a trigger that you should limit consumption until you reach your fat loss goals or look for a red wine that contains less alcohol and less sugar. Additionally, if you have been in a plateau or your fat seems stuck no matter what you do, adding wine into the mix won't solve this issue and may make it worse or harder to drop this weight. If you're currently drinking wine daily, the very first thing you want to try is reducing or temporarily eliminating it until you reach your fat loss goal and then add it back when your liver and gut is healed and fully functioning to help you burn the excess fat. If your goal is fat loss, the consumption of daily wine may slow this progress down and that is okay if you're more focused on building a long-term lifestyle versus a quick fix with fast results. For me, here's the protocol I'm currently following within my lifestyle with the goal of burning stored body fat for fuel, increasing longevity and health span, as well as turning back the clock and aging in reverse. The key for me is sticking to one glass of wine most days and less than two glasses of wine maximum in any one sitting. I mean, let's be real. Who can consume only one glass of wine a day anyway? So realistically, having two glasses maximum makes sense. My goal is to only drink red wine when paired with a meal following the habits of the French for the blood glucose lowering effects. And since most wine contains added toxins such as glyphosates and pesticides that are sprayed in the crops with the most heavily sprayed wineries located in the United States, through my research, I've found it's best to choose a red wine from regions such as France, Italy, or Austria, as these countries are more rigid on their restrictions of the use of pesticides, and most reds from these areas also contain lower sugar as well as a lower alcohol content of 12.5% or less, which helps with reducing the amount of ethanol, which in turn will help with fat burning. To avoid overworking my liver and to help me with weekly detoxing, I will regularly go on week-long stretches with no red wine and at a minimum give my liver a three-day break every once in a while. Additionally, from the research I've done, one glass of wine can also reduce cortisol, which is our body's primary stress hormone. This hormone increases glucose in the bloodstream and in turn increases insulin, which in small doses is healthy at times, but can have profound negative effects on someone who has a very stressful lifestyle and may be overproducing cortisol. The relaxation effect of red wine has the potential to lower cortisol, but in moderation, as heavy use actually does the opposite and raises cortisol. So one to two glasses maximum is perfect. Hopefully uncovering this information helps you in building a sustainable, healthy lifestyle that not only helps you achieve success with your short-term goals, but also sets you up to live a long and healthy life. Thanks for watching this one. If you're interested in learning more about my time-restricted eating lifestyle and the foods I'm eating for optimal health, check out some of my most recent videos I've done on this channel. I think you should check out this video next.